Well, how you doing guys? It is lashing down at the minute, so we've actually got the camera sitting underneath this big capstone of our very first um, dolmen that we're visiting today. This is the Pat Kearney Stone, as it's known. It's a big 50 ton um, capstone which sits on the top of this dolmen, um, which is about four and a half thousand years old, which is absolutely mind blowing. These tombs were placed here some say to create a passage from this world into the next so they're sort of like passage tombs if you like um sorry not like the passage tombs where there was a passage and they bury people this is just a pathway into another dimension fantastic it's the goward um dolmen it's only four miles believe it or not from spelga car park so right at the foot of the moons um, beautiful beast the rain Pocket 3 hates the rain, so I've got it hiding at the minute, but I'm going to go out now and just give you, hopefully you can see this beautiful beast behind me. Woo. Like, I told you earlier on, I don't know how to use this bloody thing at all. We'll stick it up on the, take a bit of a gamble here, we'll put it on the, let's see if we can see. How epic is that like? So that is... Look at that for a capstone. So this is a passage tomb, apparently. That's what some people say. And it took people from this life into the next life. God knows who was buried here, if anybody at all. Um, when we go around the dolmens, um, I think we've got like 150 dolmens in Ireland. About 10% of those, believe it or not, are in County Down. So we're gonna tick off five or six today and see, can we get a little bit of cool footage? Couldn't have picked a better day. It is absolutely lashing down outside, and you get bad weather. That's why we, we decided to go to the Dolmans. Um, Marley doesn't like the window down in the car, so the car is getting absolutely ruined. Aren't you, Marley? Hey, Marley. He hates being in the car. He just totally ignores you. I've got a sausage sitting there in his wee box. He won't even look at it. Poor wee mucker. All right, here we go to number two. Let's see if you know it. Well, this is our second dolmen of today, the Leganani dolmen. Look at that for monolith, an amazing structure. It's hard to believe that that has been there around four to 5,000 years. Just sitting here at the side of the road, they've got an excellent car parking spot down there. Um, and it was nice to, to see when you were coming up here, it was signposted, we've got a lovely lay by and a bit of a community area that you can come and actually enjoy these. Just lost in time, history in the hills. What more do you want? I love the way we've got the three granite pillars and the top stone, the capstone as it's known. How, like that last pillar, like it's just on like a needle thread. It's unbelievable how they have balanced that and it has stood the test of time. Just blows my mind this. Really looking forward to, this is the second one. I'll give you a quick spin round so you can have a look at this dolmen. Um, and then we're going to head off to the third one before this rain comes on. If it stays like this, it'll be class. at our third, one, two, three, third dolmen of today. And this one is just sitting out here at Murloc. There's where everybody parks along the Arches Bridge there. Um, and just the side street, if you just come a few hundred meters, you'll arrive 
at the Slittery um, Ford Dolman. Now, we don't know why, where it gets its name from. Um, there's no real record of that, I don't believe. Sleep Donard is just in front of me here. It's totally whited out with cloud. There was a beautiful cloud rolling off the, the forest behind. Um, I read a review just before I came around here and it said, don't expect too much. Are you shitting me? Don't expect too much. Like a four to 5,000 euro monolith just sitting here in the field. Look at this piece here, just as the stone curves down there, how it fits perfectly in there. And this stone has been placed here thousands of years ago as a, a passage to another world. Come on, what do you mean don't expect too much? Are you mad? Who wrote that review? But it is just randomly in a field. It looks like they've been planting spuds of all things, potatoes. The Irish love the potatoes, obviously. Um, Marty, come here. But just, like, they're so close vicinity. These things are peppered all around the place. Um, I've got one, two, three more I want to get to. Um, but this one is so easy. You can see the traffic just going up along um, the road here where everyone parks at Murloc along the river there. Fantastic. And actually, the rain stopped. So an amazing piece. I'm just going to give you a spin around this dolmen to get a look at it. And then we'll move to number four. Now, before we move off, actually, there are a couple of interesting spots that I noticed there as we went around. Firstly, look at the shape of the granite there as it's holding the back of the capstone. How cool is that like? Any wonder this one has stood the test of time. A real solid, solid piece covered in lichen. Absolutely covered, which is a sign of good um, air quality. But there's a stone down here that I noticed just perched up against one of the pillars. You can see it here, this round stone. Um, this would have been part of the stone circle that would have been on the peripheral of this lovely dolmen. Um, and there's a few other stones there which are similar, but they would have been peppered in around here. But just maybe just the last one that's been left because it is agriculture land, um, but it's just been parked up inside the dolmen. Isn't that fantastic? What an absolutely... I don't know, these things just blow my mind when I see them. And just here, right next to Newcastle, the amount of people that live in Newcastle haven't been here. Next time you're visiting and the morns are whited out like they are today and it's going to be miserable, why not take a little tour around? Check out our dolmens. Number four on its way. So this is our fourth dolmen today, the Anna Dawn. Um, Dolman, just behind it there, you can see Loch and Island Lake. You can just about see it. You can see that it's rested different than the other ones we've looked. It's not sitting up on the pillars. Um, I actually don't know that much about this Dolman, but it does look like um, that there are three pillars um, around it. So it's more than likely collapsed over time. And all of these stones have been set underneath it just to, to rest on it. Um, but listen, take a look at this. Another amazing dolmen. If you've got the more mountains there, you can see in the distance just past um, Loch and Island Lake. It's been taking like 10, 15 minutes, um, 20 minutes max to go from one to the next one. Let's just take a, as we have done in the other ones, we'll take a little look around to see this amazing structure. It's just the age of them that gets me like. So you can see this big, long pillar here. Um, that definitely would have been used standing up. Historically, if we come round to the side of it. I've got another one here as well. So there's no doubt, um, no doubt at some stage that was sitting up um, and the capstone was sitting on top of that. Um, but it's still here and it still survives. Pretty epic really, isn't it? When you think about how long these things are here. Um, and I love the fact they've got small fields um, 
I love the fact that it's been kept for people to come and look at, you know? So there you go. So that's number four. Um, you can tell I don't know much about this one. <laughs> Just in the field. Anna Dorn Dolman. Marley, what do you think? What's he think? He just he's got a stick and he wants to play with a stick. Simple as that. What do you got? That's all he's worried about. He doesn't care about big rocks. Okay, super cool. So the next spot we're going to is going to be a bit different. And um, there's a stone circle very, very close just down the road from here. So let's go and take a look. So we came to our fifth location. Um, it's Ballyno Stone Circle. Um, but just looking in the fields here, there's newborn lambs and um, they've just appeared. So this is where all the kit sort of comes in, a bit of diversity helps. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the drone over because there's a couple of fields over there. Um, stay up away from all of the animals so you're not scaring them in any way or form. And we'll take a look at the stone circle. She's gone. Home point updated. She is absolutely gone. So let's take a look at some of that footage. So as per usual, usual, I have been holding out right to the last seconds. And this thing, I think it's going to make it. I think it's going to make it. Show me like 30 seconds left on the battery. Here she comes. It's always a relief when you get it back to at least <laughs> within walking distance. And that's how you get them back. Um, so we're going to our very final last dolmen today. Um, that was Ballino Stone Circles, which was absolutely epic with the morns just behind. The clouds lifted a bit. You could see um, Sleeve Donard there in the distance or Donard or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the last one actually sparked my interest in dolmens many years ago because it's only 400 meters from my home house in Kilkeel. So this yeah. is our final dolmen of today. It's our fifth dolmen and one stone circle. But this one is a bit bizarre, to be honest. Um, just at the end of this lane, as you can see that building there is Aster of Kilkeel literally 100 meters from where I'm standing. And right next to me on the side of this path is a dolmen, which is about four to 6,000 years, much about four and a half thousand years old. Um, but right next to Asda there is actually, just at the end of that lane, if you can see that house or not, it's my mum's house. So that's where I was brought up in Kilkeel. So just up the path, a couple hundred meters. And um, behind me here, if I can swing it round at the end of this path, is Cromlick Park. Now, is that a coincidence? I'm sure it's not. Cromlick, as dolmens are, another name for dolmen obviously is Cromlick. Um, and we have Cromlick Park. I could be wrong, I doubt it very much. Cromlick Park, we have a Cromlick. Um, but look at the capstone on that. Unusual, large big stone. It's been set so well there, absolutely so well. Really the front of it is round near the fence. Marty wants to get up and take a look. Maybe we will. Just for the sake of the video. And stay there, Marty. So you can see the front of the dolmen there. How epic. 
is that like truly on the side of the road like when I do this and then you can see Asda there it's just all a bit mental isn't it like really to be honest um, but look at that, like, they can just pop up anywhere. I'm just glad that they haven't um, uprooted them in any way or form, because these really are part of our ancient history, aren't they, like? So the east coast of Ireland has plenty of these dotted around. There's 150 dolmens still existing. Um, half the people that sort of live in this local area don't even know that they, they exist to be honest like and <laughs> the camera's bouncing about there i think they're absolutely fascinating like somebody has placed that capstone there like four and a half thousand years ago like seriously so this really brings us to the end of our journey today um oddly just in front of my home house which is a bit random um i hope you've enjoyed it this is my first youtube video i'm gonna take um, I'll take a look to see whether or not it's worth doing a few of these videos. We've got so much history, both in the mountains and on the low grounds of the Mourns. Any wonder that we've got UNESCO um, World Heritage status with all this great history. And um, what do you think, Marty? Marty's been a gem today, so he has like um, he's enjoyed it as much as I have. So if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. I think that's the carry on, isn't it really? <laughs> um, if you're interested in some of our guided tours, check out www.mornmountainadventures.co.uk. We've got a booking calendar in there, but we also do private bookings anywhere around the Mourns. We do photography classes. Um, we do guided tours around the Dolmens if you're interested. We can do anything that your private group would like or just book on to a single hike. Um, until next week, catch you later.